All right. Uh, my apologies for the glitch we just had. I see what went wrong uh, in our in our little live video just a couple minutes ago. Um, and I want to show you exactly what I was talking about. So look, um, we're talking about the forehand, the top spin forehand. And thinking, I mean, spin, obviously you want to think about spin on this, but you also want to be thinking about shape, right? What's kind of the, what's the arc? And we've got Mike Federley over there with his return. He's not going to drive this ball. He's going to actually give it some, some nice, safe height over the top of the net, right? It gets up on Glenn Busby here. Glenn just kind of returns a favor. And again, these guys are not driving the classic sense of, you know, um, thought of driving a forehand, which is flatter and, and closer the, to the net. These guys are really looking to get the ball shaped up and over the top of the net with some spin, right? And so shape is the arc, is the is the trajectory the ball is taking. And think about height. Think about really raising your target with some spin. And, and this is going to be interesting right here. This is kind of a two-shot play. I, you know, if, if you just watched the video I just did, you know the outcome of it. But I think what, what Glenn's looking to do here is the same thing. He's looking to get this ball up over to Mike's backhand. And now he starts to get himself in the position because what does he see? Well, he sees he sees Mike over there hitting, you know, setting up hit a slice backhand on a pretty high contact, right? This is like the classic head high, tough ball, um, slice backhand. And so Glenn is right, right where he wants to be. You know, he's got a foot inside the baseline. And again, I asked you if you're Mike on the other side, what, what shot are you anticipating that Glenn is going to hit? Typically what we do with what's the right shot is if you're Glenn on this side, what shot would you hit? And maybe that's the way you think about it sometimes, right? If, if, if you're Mike, you're thinking what shot Glenn is going to hit is really what shot would would Mike hit in this situation? And that can get you into trouble sometimes. Anticipating what your opponent's about to do based on what you would normally do in this situation. So this is this this is a tough one to read. I mean, look, from right here, could Glenn hit a dropper? I think he could. Um, now, obviously, he can't. And so this is sort of a classic not an extreme inside out forehand, but it is from, it is from his backhand side and he gives it some more shape. And there you go. There you go. So I'm just going to play this in real time for you. Boom. So there you have it. Okay. Hope this is better, right? I almost feel like deleting the one before, but I'm, I'm going to leave it up there anyway. Um, guys, if you have any questions, right, in the comment section, let me know. Questions, comments, remarks, let me know. Uh, and also in the, in the description area, I've got for you um, a complimentary 20-minute video course for helping you out with your top spin second serve. Maybe too many double faults. Maybe that second serve's going in, but just sitting up. No, boy, no, we don't want that. So I want to show you how to get more racket speed to create power that also creates that kind of spin you want that controls your power, but also gets that nice bounce, that nice high bounce out of the out of the service box over there. All right, guys, um, and that link is down below in the in the description area. All right, we're done, guys. Get out there today. Help someone else have a spectacular day. Guys, uh, I'll see you again tomorrow.